So we will like to announce their presence and then we will go straight into what we are here for. So quickly we want to recognize the presence of the presumptive leadership of Maserado County. Comrade Paul Moet, the, the Vice Chair for Forever Affairs. I think the Vice Chair for Forever Affairs. Comrade Amara B. Kane. The Vice Chair for Program Planning and Policy, presented. Comrade Ambassador Frank Saka, who is Frank Saka Toba, who is the Deputy Secretary General for Record and Research. We have Comrade Mike Doko. The Deputy Secretary General for Administration, Masorado Chapter, from the, from the Alpha Gray, who is the who is the operation for Masorado Presumptive Chapter. We have Comrade Melvin D. Brown, who is the Presumptive Secretary General of Masorado Chapter. And before you introduce him, my fellow executive committee member Abdul D. Kamen, prefer to be called the national gatekeeper of the Mighty Coalition for Democratic Change. So, I think Chairman Mosorado County, we want to quickly fling on the executive bench. But before doing that, all head of Azorare, we salute your presence. We say you are highly welcome to your usual spot. We want to quickly draw into the picture from Christopher Kenneth, who is the vice chair for human resource development of our party. So, we have with us 
Comrade Helen Ma, the Deputy Secretary General for Press and Publicity of the Revolutionary National Youth League. So, we have with us Comrade Leader Jerun. Jerun Seri is the National Vice Chair for International Affairs of the Revolutionary National Youth League. So, we have Comrade Ava Gray. I have more rather, have more eyes. The National Deputy Secretary for Records and Research. We have with us the most powerful pen future in the border politics of Liberia. A retired student general, not choice to a student. A man who led debates on behalf of the country across the globe, the former Deputy Secretary General for Administration of the Indomitable Revolutionary National Youth League, wow. Comrade Leader Hassan Newland, Secretary General of the Revolutionary National Youth League. Wow. We have with us a man with a rich credential of student activism. Mm -hmm. Today, Students of the University of Liberia are enjoying free tuition because he paid his due. Yeah. He was unjustifiably expelled, not because he threw rock at the campuses, not because he was bossing car wishes, because he was advocating for academic freedom. Yeah. A young man who served as PR or the official spokesperson of the Revolutionary National Youth League. A retired student general with honor. Mm. Mm. He has no record of throwing stones. What he has in his place is true advocates, true intellectual engagement. Today he's serving as the national vice chair for operations of our party. We have with us a standing soldier, comrade leader, teacher, Alvin Fidel Castro, we said. We also want to recognize the advent and presence of Comrade Asu Selim, one of our allies present in this hall. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, the man I'm about to introduce to you, who will just play the leadership role by watching the SG to demonstrate what we are here for, is a retired student general with rich credential in activism. His advocates over the period are writing on the wall. Today, we have a youth leader with a rich academic credential. He's the most educated youth chairman in the history of our body politics. Sound. <clears throat> the man I'm about to introduce to you served the youth and student politics in Liberia, played a role on campuses and at FLAC Linsu as well. The former Secretary General of our party, the man who served as Deputy Secretary for Administration, and later on, a senator, the Secretary General of our party, before a senator, the chairmanship, true and overwhelming victory. So, a Chicago tree. Mm. They are not telling you about Stone Chum. Many things. He went through the rate of fire, through the academic corridor. 
from Buchanan Street that year, University of Liberia, went to the Bell Hebrews Bell in this country, debated his student activism, national politics. He has no record of brutalizing anyone. Mm. He has no record of throwing stools. His record is rich with dialogue, positive engagement, peace building, and you can name the rest. The man that presides over all of the young people, including the opposition youth leaders, mm -hmm. including all opposition youth chairmen, sit on his watch. He is the arrowhead for all of the young people in politics. The man who just returned from the U.S. with masters. From the University, the Chicago University in the U.S. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to salute the president of our leader, teacher, mentor, father, Emmanuel Moba. politics. The CDC face was confronting the vampire UP regime. We didn't use student community to confront them. So we own nobody explanation for celebrating our leader. We stand ready if it will cost our life to defend the emblem of our party. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I want to now zoom in mm. to this podium. An intellectual professor, mm. yeah. Yeah. Professor Alvin C. Wiesel, yeah. 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 the yeah. national yeah. vice chair for operations of our party. Yeah. 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 Down, 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 Malaysia's down. Down. 
Yeah. Down, 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 blow up, down. Down. Yeah. Down, 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 down. It's a provocative town. Down. down. Amanda. Where to? Amanda. Where to? Where to? Amanda. Forward, forward. The free education is forward. Forward. Forward, forward. The road connectivity is forward. Forward. Forward, forward, forward. The peace and unity is forward. Forward. Amanda. Where to? Where to? Amanda. Vaibuye. Libera. Vaibuye. Libera. Iliberia. Maribule. Iliberia. Maribule. Well, thank you. Thank you all so much. At this juncture, I am privileged Be given such an opportunity for the man who presides for the tripartite sessions of Liberia's and Africa's first years independent revolutionary mass Pan Africanist Liberation Movement, the indemnitable, the unbeatable, the unshakable. Mm. Revolutionary National Youth League of the Mali Coalition for Democratic Change. So, permit me to call upon stage to bring to your attention members of the Pope Estate and fellow Liberians to give you. A clue to what happened yesterday. A very young Liberian citizen a member of the Motorcyclist Union of the Republic of Liberia by extension the Coalition for Democratic Change. So While in pursuit of his living, commuting passengers and transporting different people at different locations, around Central Moravia is in violence. We got informed from the offices of the National Church President of the Mali Congress for Democratic Change Revolutionary National Youth League. So, by a member of the Motorcycles Union of the Republic of Liberia, was being my handled. Not only was it being mass and old, it was air treated and mass treated. Who told us? But Janja Wings and Malaysians. But unscrupulous and inferior forces under the instruction of the man who refused to rehabilitate himself. After bloodletting during the 14 years of a brutal and devastating civil crisis, Yaka Koloba. Permit me to call on today's version our young militant, Ansu Soni, Ansu Seli. Yaka Koloba. Yaka the assassin little. 
You get the assassin. You get the mass murderer. Hey, you get. It's a door. The atrocity and murder, the mayhem, bloodletting, I spill on the on 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 the masses of our people, innocent Liberians in this country. You have not exhibited any conduct and action of repentance and remorse and forgiveness. Why attack a young man trying to look for a hands meet a motorcycle? The potential of motorcyclists in Desu number 10. We have been told that the motorcyclists in Desu number 9, 11, 12, the motorcyclists in the 17 electoral districts are angry. 17 electoral districts in Moscow County are very angry. That one of the members of the motorcyclist union have been attacked by Yeka Koluba. <laughs> Brutalizing him. What was his crime? What was his crime? What did he do to you? What was the crime to take students from Central Moravia to take passengers and commit them around Central Moravia? And he brutalized this young man. The lawmaker who engaged, engages into malicious behavior. Is that one a lawmaker? Is that two a lawmaker? Is that a lawmaker? That isn't a lawmaker. That's a tolerance. Reactionary tendency. Reactionary tendency. Reactionary tendency. Blood letting. Blood letting. Say his name. Say his name. Yaka Koluba. Say his name. Yaka Koluba. Say his name. Yaka Koluba. Shout his name. Yaka Koluba. Shout his name. Yaka Koluba. Cry his name. Yaka Koluba. This is another victim. Why are you beating motorcyclists and chasing after them? If you're understanding that all motorcyclists are seditions, but all motorcyclists are also Liberians. Mm. And another motorcyclist are beaten massively by Yeka Koluba. Look at his eyes. Look at his hair. This is sad. This is not a democracy of Bacchus Gabriel Matthew. This is not a democracy of Deacon Kalo, and not a democracy of Abapo. Tu as ce nombre, et tu as The democracy where 250,000 of our compatriots had to die and were dumb in my graves for peace and tranquility to prevail. But on the contrary, there are elements who think that we are still living in the past. And they are using their past in their presence and still reinventing the top members. We hate to be reminded about the dark members 
of the 40 years of devastating civil unrest in our country. We know the perpetrators. For us, we are victims. We're young people. We saw how chaos has been perpetrated against the state, the breakdown of the fabric of our society, the infrastructure, the education, the health, the role, the culture. Yet can call you by again. In a desperate quest to see political relevance is to unleash terror. And that's not the first time. But let me say this to you, comrades and fellow Palestinians. The Revolutionary National Youth League of the Indemnitable Mali Congress for Democratic Change oh. is documenting every atrocity, be it against citizens or peaceful abroad citizens. And this nonsensical posturing of people perpetrating evil and harm against people and against the state and the center masquerading and gallivanting with cultural impunity. It was never happy on the watch of the revolutionary national youth leader of the indemnitable mighty congress for democratic change. So and that's why we've written and we've complained. And today, another evidence has been displayed. So you know who are the perpetrators, parading and masquerading as victims. Now we are being taught by Excellency President George Manawia, by the CDC was now formed on the basis of violence. Twelve years of our historical joining to the executive mansion was on the basis of the fundamentals and rudiments of democracy where we engage the people constructively using idealism, intellectualism, Debating issues and non personality or argumental ahumini. Engaging the national conversation that's plain to our people about why we think we should be the alternative to the Unity Party government. This core doddry of an opposition, then robbed of an opposition, through all of its excesses and bankruptcies. Is reminding us about those who brought war in our country with their actions and inactions. But we don't blame them. We blame certain young people who are parading. In the youth and student community, they use as vehicles, they use as conduits, they use as instruments, they use as process mercenaries, they use as agents of violence and social disorder. We don't blame these elements. We blame, we blame these elements and young people who have accepted the status of slavery. Yet kept Koluba moving on the University of Liberia campus. What is the relationship with Yekka Koluba? With you on the University of Liberia campus, what is the historical relationship and ideology? 
What is the historical relationship in revolutionary struggle history? What is the historical relationship? From, from the broader institutional perspective, institutional alignment, what is the relationship with you on the political spectrum? A man who is just nothing but a notorious political guest Roaming is the one that has been decorated today as the de facto chairman of a certain political party on the university campus. Mm.